<laughs> Meghan Markle's fall from grace. Yes, Duchess or reality TV show, game show, briefcase girl, whatever the f she's. It looks like Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are about to face another major blow. So back in December of 2022, the Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan gained a lot of attention worldwide. However, YouTuber Shallon Lester was unaware of her involvement in the series until friends actually started telling her that she was featured in the fifth episode. But you know what? That's where we differ because they did decide to include me in their new Netflix documentary. Their Netflix documentary that has a seemingly unlimited number of episodes. And Shaolin Lester was completely surprised and she was confused by her inclusion in the series. So if you're a Netflix subscriber, go ahead and watch episode five of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Festival of Bullshit and fast forward to about the 29 minute mark. And she wasn't contacted at all. So she was wondering what, why, why did they put me in there? She wasn't even given an opportunity to provide her perspective on things. So of course, she's just completely shocked at this moment. First, I want to say that no one from Netflix, Bot Sentinel, Harry or Meghan ever reached out to me for comment, ever reached out to me or to YouTube for permission per my managers. And you know, why, why would they reach out to people who can speak and argue for a living to get a comment? That's not how I play it. And after watching the segment herself, she was just in disbelief that it actually insinuated that she was involved in a coordinated online smear campaign against Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. So immediately she reached out to her mom and then contacted her lawyers and she expected that her appearance in the series was going to be related to people expressing negative opinions about the couple online. After private correspondences with their family are leaked, the couple make a crucial decision and ensuing online campaigns turn chilling. As she does on her opinion based YouTube channel. This is pretty common. People express negative opinions about people all the time. However, she claims that the docuseries made false and defamatory allegations against her, which ended up impacting her content creation business. Misinformation is a global humanitarian crisis. Let's just start there. Misinformation is a global humanitarian crisis. And she had this to say in a video that she made about this. It's defamation, it's slander, it's mischaracterization, and you know what else it is? Misinformation. And then she also added this. And believe me when I say, I'm pursuing every opportunity to nail their bleep to the wall for this. During the Harry and Meghan docuseries, an interview with Bot Sentinel CEO Christopher Boozy was featured discussing their findings that 70% of online hate against Meghan Markle could be traced back to a small number of Twitter accounts. So now we have the picture of all of these nasty tweets about Meghan, all these nasty, put your, you're a nasty fake bitch, you're not with him, you're fake nasty, whatever, like crazy. While the identities of the women involved were not revealed, Shallon Lester was shown among the three women presented on screen. And Shallon Lester, she who's a journalist herself turned YouTuber, known for her commentary on dating and celebrity topics and things like that, compared the situation to someone seeing their face flash across the screen in a documentary about Jeffrey Epstein. That's how bad it was for her. All women, all white. I mean, I think one chick is maybe Latin. I don't know. Shallon Lester strongly denied any involvement in any type of online smear campaign against Meghan Markle and Harry. And she just completely was just mystified by the lack of evidence or proof that was provided in the documentary. So again, hold up. We're not the typical trolls, okay? We've established that we're not trolls because we have an audience. She also pointed out that there was no traceable footprint of her involvement at all because for one, her Twitter account is private and she has not tweeted in years. So then following the documentary, Shallon Lester, she claimed to have experienced personal attacks in her Instagram DMs and YouTube comments from fans of Meghan and Harry. Also, she stated that there has been a noticeable decrease in brands wanting to work with her since the release of the documentary. So currently at time of filming this video, Shallon Lester and her attorney are in the process of gathering information and conducting research to prepare for potential legal action. While no legal action has been taken yet, Shallon Lester is focused on 
getting an apology and holding everyone who was involved accountable. And she did mention too that financial compensation would also be appreciated. So it's a strong chance that Harry and Meghan will be sued over this. On that note, that's where I'll end this video. But before I do, I wanna hear from you guys. Sound off down below your thoughts about this entire story. I'm curious to know your thoughts on this. Also, don't forget to follow me here on FTD News for more videos like this one. Boom.